Hey guys, I'm Fish, and you're watching The Fish Bowl. Alright, so I have my second British food taste test. Um, this time I got I got a couple chocolate things and a drink and um, custard creams. I wanted to try custard creams, so I got those two. So, let's get into it. Um, first, I have Tato Smoky Bacon Flavor Potato Crisps. They call them crisps there. We call them chips here. They call them crisps, crisps there. Um, and they call fries chips. Fun fact. Okay, so they call this the big bag. In America, um, that's just a little bitty snack bag. Let's give them a shot. Smoky bacon flavor. Look. F L A V O U R. They just throw U's in there, or we just take U's away. Whatever the case. Let's give it a shot. Alright. So there is a, a bacon flavor in there. They almost taste like our barbecue chips but with just a hint of bacon in it. So barbecue bacon. There you go. Not bad, I like those. I'll give those a 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Alright, so next I have a Sherbert Fountain. Natural colors and flavors. Sherbert with a licorice dip. Twist to open. Twist what to open? What am I twisting, guys? Got it. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm getting that on my carpet, that's bad, but this kind of looks like, it looks like the fun dip things that we get. We have like a little hard candy stick, we lick it and we stick it in this sugar stuff, colored sugar. That's kind of what it looks like. Kind of what it tastes like. I'm going to give it a shot, though. Without... Without trying to make a mess. I don't think that's possible. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so, so weird. This, this is like our, good lord, I am not a fan of licorice at all, black licorice, don't care for it, so, this is just like our fun dip or whatever it's called, but with a licorice stick instead. And that's rough. It's not as sweet as our fun dip. Alright, this thing, this thing I will give a, a 2 out of 10. Um, it's creative. That's about all I can say for it. 
That's pretty rough. I don't care for that at all. Alright, next. Next, I'm going to get a soda to uh, wash down the licorice taste. I got a Ben Shaw's Dandelion and Burdock. Now, I don't know what dandelions taste like, but uh, apparently you guys packed it into a soda. Um, so we'll give that a shot. As emasculating as it is to sit here and drink a purple soda with dandelion on it, it's uh, it's okay. I can't describe the taste to you. It's smooth like cream soda. It's not as fizzy as like a coke or anything like that. The taste, the taste, mm, I'm not sure. I've never tasted a dandelion so I can't tell you if it tastes like dandelions or not. And honestly, no idea what burdock is. I have no clue what burdock is at all. But it tastes okay. Um, this soda, I'll give. I'll give it a six out of ten. It's uh, it's not bad. It's not something I'd go buy a whole twelve pack of or anything like that. But hey, it's not bad. Six out of ten. All right, next. Let's go for. Boom! Oh yes. Um, when I was in Epcot, I went through and I did a taste test of different countries, and we visited Germany and France and Japan. Japan was like a a taste tester's dream. So much candy, so much food. I was almost overwhelmed. And the only reason I didn't get anything from uh, Japan was because I don't usually carry cash on me. And their card machines were down. So, I didn't have any cash. So I do want to get online and see if I can uh, do some Japanese taste tests too. But anyways, whenever I was at Epcot, everything that they had at Epcot, I can get on the website that I go to for all of my snacks. Um, and this was there and I almost bought it but I remembered that I had ordered it and that it was on its way so I'm excited to try this I tried the regular galaxy bar and um, it was really good you guys do a good job with chocolate and um, this I think they have a they have an arrow bar A-E-R-O I don't remember. I had it way back whenever I went to Epcot, and it was really good. It's like light and airy, and I think that's what this is. So, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> I'm excited. Ooh. Look at that. It looks all folded and fancy. It's like aerated chocolate. It's so good. I want to eat this whole thing, but I can't. Oh, it's so good. I really like this. Galaxy chocolate's really good, guys. Out of the park. So good. I'll give that like a 9 out of 10. That's great. 
Those are delicious. I love that. Right on. Good job. All right. Next is toffee. I'm not huge on toffee, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Tasty treacle toffee. Walkers. Non-such. Interesting. This is England's finest. Walkers, non-such. Tasty treacle toffee. There you go. That's what it looks like. We'll give it a shot. Again, I'm not big on toffee. Oh gosh, I can smell it. Okay. Well, it melted on the way here, so I'm just gonna have to chew. Wow, that's strong. This will take a minute. Fast forward. Okay. That's why I hate toffee. It's stuck in my teeth, and I hate that feeling. The flavor's not bad. I don't mind the flavor at all. It's the chewing and chewing and the getting stuck in your teeth and all that. I really don't like it. But as far as the flavor goes, it's a really good flavor. But as a whole, toffee, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Because the flavor is there. It's a good flavor. I just don't like that you have to work and work and work just for a little bit. You gotta have some really strong jaws to chew on that. Not horrible, but not great. Next, we have Milky Bar Buttons. Give them a taste. Oh, wow. I didn't expect. I don't know why, but I didn't expect them to be white. I expected them to be chocolate. Huh. Okay. They are chocolate. They're white chocolate. They're really good, though. I like them. I'm not big into white chocolate, but these are pretty good. Milky Bar Buttons. I'll give them an 8 out of 10. Pretty good. Right on, guys. You guys do chocolate really well. Alright, next. Is Cadbury Bourneville Classic Dark Chocolate. Okay, so. I've had Cadbury eggs. They're okay. Um, dark chocolate. Again. I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate, but you guys do a great job of chocolate, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. Wow, that is dark. That is dark chocolate. Cadbury. Alright, so those are really good. I would compare those to, if we have Dove chocolates over here, and the Dove dark chocolates, tastes exactly like this. This is pretty good. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Like I said, not a huge fan of dark chocolate. It's really bitter. This actually isn't though, it's pretty smooth. Again, you guys got chocolate down. Moving on to Munchies. From the cocoa plant. How much chocolate did I get? Munchies is a weird name for a chocolate bar. Is it a chocolate bar? For chocolate pieces. Alright, these are munchies. They look like that. Those are good. They have like a wafer, like a really light wafer in the middle of them. So it's not all solid chocolate. This says milk chocolate with soft caramel and crisp biscuit center. So there's a little bit of caramel in there and like a little wafer or whatever it is. It's pretty good. Munchies. I'll give them an 8 out of 10. 
They're good too. Last but not least, we have custard creams. These are sandwich biscuits with vanilla flavored cream filling. So what I'm guessing is that these are basically like um like our cheap we get little cheap wannabe Oreos and they are cheap. 89p which is their equivalent of cents. So 89 cents for a whole pack like that. Off brand Oreos. But the vanilla kind. Alright. Give them a taste. This is what they look like. Custard cream. They smell good. Yeah. Those are basically like the cheap vanilla cookie and cream crackers or whatever cookies they're really good though not bad I'm not disappointed in those those are pretty good um, I will give the custard creams I'll give them an 8 out of 10 I like them a lot they're pretty good this was a great taste test the only thing I didn't like was the sherbet fountain that's no you guys got to change your game up a little bit. Your powdered sugar game, not that great. Chocolate, you guys do great on. Those custard creams, awesome. Um, okay, so that's all I have for this British taste test. I plan to do more in the future. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. There's a like button somewhere down here. I don't know where. This side or this side. It's down here somewhere. Just find it, hit it real quick, let me know that you like it. It helps me to keep going and uh, making these videos. Also, uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Call your mother, tell her to subscribe. Call your brother, tell him to subscribe. Call your friend across the pond and tell him to subscribe. Um, and share it. Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, share it. And, uh, Thanks, guys. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me this far. And keep it going. And, uh, yeah, with all that, we'll see you next time.